Hello Game Boys and Game Girls, I'm the Game Boy Guru, and welcome to another Pickups video. And this will be Pickups and Arrivals over about the last week and a half or so. Um, I've picked up a couple things online, I uh, had a couple of opportunities to go game hunting just a little bit. So I got a few things, so we'll check it out. So first up, we've got some <clears throat> Game Boy related stuff from one Mr. Duke Togo from RF Generation and he hooked me up with a couple of couple of things uh, all Pokemon related so we've got Pokemon trading card game and this is an upgrade to the copy that I had which had a pretty faded label this one's real clean so gotta love that he also got <clears throat> Pokemon Gold and again real nice label and uh, um, he always checks the batteries on those and, and makes sure that they're working. So that's always good. Got Pokemon Emerald. So now I'm uh, dabbling in uh, getting the Pokemon Game Boy Advance stuff. Slowly growing my Pokemon collection. And finally, Pokemon Pinball. And of course, this has the little battery slot there. You can throw in a AAA and uh, gives a rumble feature. So I've heard mixed opinions about that. Um, some of the RF Gen guys are telling me that it's a good game, and I've heard elsewhere that it's kind of meh. So we'll see. Uh, I do like video pinball, though, so I will definitely give that a whirl at some point. So that was from Duke. Uh, I got a couple of... Game Gear games um, <clears throat> that came uh, from a Facebook group. Somebody had posted them, and since my Game Gears are out for repair, both of them are being recapped. I should hopefully have them back within the next week or so. Um, and so I'll be looking forward to putting some time into uh, some new games, and that'll be Axe Battler, um, A Legend of Golden Axe, which um, apparently gets mixed reviews. I have kind of always heard that it's a decent game, but uh, I saw a review here within the last week that pretty much uh, railed on the game. So we'll see. But one that I'm definitely excited to play is Shinobi. I've had the second Shinobi game, The Silent Fury, for a little while now, but had not tracked down the original. So... That'll be fun to put a little bit of time into and compare it to its 16-bit uh, console counterparts. Uh, I ordered a couple of things from <clears throat> uh, Luke Games. Um, they sell loose manuals, and so I wanted to pick up a couple of manuals that I needed to complete a couple of my games. Um, and so with that, I got... <clears throat> Super Battleship, so that'll go into the uh, box for that, and then the manual for Miss um, Pac-Man by Tengen, or the port by Tengen. Uh, I've got the clamshell version of that. I don't have the cardboard box version, but this completes that for me, so always good to have that. I picked up one loose Genesis cart, and I know I've said multiple times I don't generally do that, but... I actually needed this one to complete a box and manual setup that I have. Um, for those of you who may not remember, in a much older pickups video, um, I got a bunch of random game boxes and things like that from my buddy Zagnorch. And one of those was a Sega Genesis game called Tin Head. And it was a real nice clamshell box with outer art and manual. And now I have the cartridge. So finally, I have this game complete and can add that to my Genesis complete in box shelf. And finally from Luki Games, um, <clears throat> just to fill out the package a little bit, uh, I saw that they had a Saturn game that I don't didn't already have and it was at a pretty low price and that is Bug. And um, not only was it a really good price, but this is a very clean uh, copy. It, looks like it's been very lightly used. Um, <clears throat> it does not have the styrofoam, unfortunately, but the disc is in pretty good shape, and uh, 
not a scratch on it. So looking forward to at least checking this one out. I know it kind of gets kind of gets slagged on uh, quite a bit for being a pretty mediocre platformer, but to be honest, I enjoy mediocre platformers, so why not? <clears throat> From another Facebook group, I picked up a couple of additional classic shmups that I didn't have. One of those was Terra Cresta on the NES. Didn't have this particular arcade conversion yet, so glad to score that for a decent price. Haven't seen it in the wild in years, and I don't know why I never picked it up years ago when I could have for five or six bucks, but for whatever reason I didn't, uh, even though I've always enjoyed the arcade game. So yeah, finally have that one. And what I was really excited to get was uh, a complete copy of Twin Cobra for the Sega Genesis. Uh, lots of people I've talked to and I've heard online over the years that the NES version is terrible. I don't think the NES version is terrible. It's not super, it's not a fantastic game by any means, but it's a reasonably solid conversion of the arcade game on the 8-bit hardware. You know, it's, as, it's probably as good as you would get uh, at the time it came out. <clears throat> but this is apparently a much better arcade conversion. And so I'm looking forward to checking this out, but uh, always love getting complete Genesis games when I can. And this is one I've been after for a long time, so very glad to actually finally have this. <clears throat> so that is all my mail arrivals. Now let's move on to stuff that I picked up while I've been out and about. <clears throat> so I got a chance to do a little bit of game hunting uh, last weekend, I think it was. Um, I had occasion to go out of town and um, do a couple of things, and so before I left town, I decided to do just a little bit of game hunting and uh, check some stuff out. So I picked up <clears throat> Some PSP stuff at one store. Uh, ATV Off-Road Fury Pro. Didn't have that one yet. <clears throat> Puzzle Challenge Crosswords and more. And uh, apparently this is also on PS2 and the Wii. Um, seems like there were a lot of these types of games during the latter portion of the PS2's life that were on PS2, PSP, and Wii, or a lot of games that were on PSP and Wii, and I'm not sure why that happened that way, but it did. Got Lego Batman, the video game, and it's my understanding that uh, the portable versions of these are kind of stripped down from the larger console versions, a bit more of a condensed story, less exploration you can do and whatnot, but uh, still pretty cool to have that. <clears throat> got the greatest hits edition of Star Wars Battlefront 2 um, and I'm glad to see this one's coming down in price um, when I first started PSP collecting this was going for quite a bit of money and even about a year ago I tried to pick up a copy of this somewhere and a place I was at wanted something like 25 or 30 bucks for it um, I didn't pay anywhere near that for this copy, and so now I've got both Black Label and Greatest Hits, and uh, glad to have that. <clears throat> and the fun, real fun find on the PSP side was Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII, and the thing about this, if, if you know anything about Crisis Core, you'll see this is not the traditional blue cover. This is sort of a silver foil cover. And apparently this variant was a Best Buy exclusive. So it was cool to see both of them side by side in the, in the glass case. And when I saw that, I thought, oh, that's a variant. So I looked it up, and sure enough, it's a Best Buy exclusive, so I picked it up. So glad to have both iterations of that in the collection now. 
So that was one store. <clears throat> the next store that I went to, I generally don't buy a lot from this store because some of their stuff I feel is overpriced and some of their stuff I just, I've had a couple of bad experiences with them in the past, but I must say in recent months they've been better. So I grabbed <clears throat> WWF King of the Ring for Game Boy. Uh, it was the only Game Boy game they had that was not in my collection. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little grungy looking. It needs some cleaning on the outside there. Almost looks like somebody spilled coffee in uh, the little ribbed area on both sides of the cart. So you're going to have to break out the... Uh, Rubbing alcohol and Q-tips. Finally got a copy of Wario Land 3. So pretty cool to have that. <clears throat> Another PSP game. I got Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, Greatest Hits. So now I've got Black Label and Greatest Hits on that. And I picked up a couple of GameCube games. Uh, kind of impulse buys, but... Uh, um, Priced a little bit better than I had seen them recently, so I decided to snap them up. One is Beautiful Joe, so I finally have the original Beautiful Joe to play. Um, I love Platinum Games, and I know that the team that created this was the team that eventually went on to form Platinum. This is Hideki Kamiya. Uh, love his style and his kind of aesthetic that he goes by, uh, or that he, that he works with. And, of course, the beautiful Joe character is, uh, I would consider the template, uh, visually speaking, of what was used for the inspiration of the Wonderful 101 characters, which Wonderful 101 is one of my favorite uh, Wii U games. And so definitely had to have that. <laughs> also picked up Tales of Symphonia. Um, generally speaking, RPGs are expensive. I thought that was a decent price. And so decided to grab that one while it wasn't horribly expensive. <clears throat> so that was game store number two. Game store number three. <clears throat> while I was out and about, <clears throat> I grabbed um, <clears throat> a couple of things. So I got... One NES game I didn't have, which is Pinball Quest. Uh, once again, I'm a sucker for video pinball and didn't have this one yet, so decided to give it a whirl. <clears throat> Grabbed a couple of PS2 games. Got Peter Jackson's King, uh, King Kong and Medal of Honor Vanguard uh, Greatest Hits. And so now I've got the black label and greatest hits of that. I think I'm either at or almost at <clears throat> the point where I've got every Medal of Honor game on the PS2. I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty close. <clears throat> Grabbed a couple of Game Boy games as well. I got um, Laszlo's Leap was one that they had, and uh, so definitely wanted to grab that because it was not in the collection. And this was a nice find, uh, Street Fighter 2. Everywhere I've seen this in the wild, they want way too much money for it. Uh, even if it's an okay game, you know, a game like this on the Game Boy is not, that's not going to be the preferred way to play it, especially in 2017. But this particular copy is incredibly clean, very good label, and since it's a lower price than where I've seen it pretty much everywhere else, I thought, well, it's probably time to snap that one up. <clears throat> so that was last weekend. Uh, and then last night I had a chance to go and do just a scant little bit of, of game shopping. <clears throat> so I grabbed a handful of things and check those out here. So I got some Xbox 360 stuff that I didn't have. Got Harry Potter for Connect, and I still need to get a Connect. Uh, I still need to get a Connect uh, peripheral at some point. I'm sure I can probably get one cheap. 
but I just haven't done it yet. Um, so yeah, Harry Potter for Connect. I got MX versus ATV Alive. Didn't even know about that one. I got <clears throat> the 360 version of Darksiders 2. And then I also got Fable 3. And those were all pawn shop finds last night. And the one game store purchase that I made, uh, I finally decided to plunk down the money for Final Fantasy Legend 2. And of course, this is the original uh, Squaresoft release rather than the later Sunsoft version. They wanted a little bit more money for it than I wanted to pay, so I bargained just a little bit, got a couple bucks off, and decided to pick it up. So now I finally have all the Final Fantasy branded games for the original Game Boy. And I say branded <clears throat> because, for those of you who may not be aware, the three Final Fantasy Legend games are actually the first three games in the Saga series, uh, such as like Saga Frontier that we saw on the PlayStation. They're not actually Final Fantasy games. They were just branded as such in the United States because of the burgeoning popularity of the original Final Fantasy release on the NES. Um, and then Final Fantasy Adventure that came out um, and was sort of a Legend of Zelda-esque game was actually the first game in the Seiken Densetsu series, otherwise known as the Mana series. So Secret of Mana, um, World of Mana, I think, and the uh, original game was remade as Sword of Mana for the Game Boy Advance later. And so, anyway, cool stuff. Um, glad to finally have this completed now so that um, so I don't have to go searching for this anymore. So, um, yeah, Final Fantasy, Legend 2. What do you guys think? Anything uh, in here strike your fancy? Anything that... Uh, you're excited about or anything that you would suggest I play right away. I know I'm going to be checking out Twin Cobra and Terra Cresta. Um, I'm going to check out Laszlo's Leap as well <clears throat> because I'm not sure that I've even seen any reviews of this, so I'm real curious. Uh, and of course Street Fighter 2 for Game Boy just because um, I want to see what that's like. But uh, what else in here do you think I should check out right away? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for playing, and game on.